Hey up everyone, welcome to another video. This week it's going to be something a little bit different, but it's relevant to what's going on in the world today. As you're all aware, there's a war between Russia and Ukraine. I've got to take my hat off to Ukrainian people, Ukrainian soldiers. They're fighting. And it's an inspiration. But what it got me thinking about is how volatile and how easily disrupted the world that we live in is really. So Russia have decided to invade, invade Ukraine. And that's had a catastrophic effect. On the whole population and the whole globe, really. Now, what's got me thinking about is how easy the world in which we can know can be disrupted. There's mass devastation in Ukraine, cities flattened, abandoned buildings, misplaced people. And it got me thinking about traditional skills. Old skills, hunting skills, fishing, bushcraft, whatever you may call it. I'm a firm believer that what goes around comes around. And we could find ourselves living in caves. Like as Neanderthal ancestors. The whole world could go to pot at any time. And it won't be long before these traditional skills, the skills that people try and make us forget, come back into use. So this video is designed around that really. Let's remember where we started. Let's remember where we come from. All them basic skills. When we were Neanderthals, cavemen, early people, whatever you want to call us. We need to keep them skills and pass them on to generations and generations before after us. Cave paintings. They paint a picture, exactly what they are. They're showing people, hunting animals. That's who we are, that's who we were, and that's who we will be again sometime in the future. Cave paintings. They're not pictures of vegetables, they picture animals. And in this image, it shows you a vital zone. So his early ancestors knew what it was all about. When the time comes, shelter, be that in forms of caves, abandoned buildings, cabins in the woods. We're going to have to make use of that all over again. I don't think it'll happen anytime soon, but it will happen. There's no doubt about that. What happens when we lose power? When power grid goes down? Then we'll rely on skills and traditions that have been taught to us by his forefathers before. We have to pass on that to next generations and make sure they have the skills to survive when they need to be. I pass it on to my children and I hope and I like to think that through this social platform and providing people with skills that as early ancestors from all around the world had and they passed on through generation and generation that's what enabled us to survive and thrive. We are who we are today because of these people. And we shouldn't forget that. Traditional skills, hunting, fishing, whatever it may be. Live, learn, develop skills, develop knowledge, and pass it on. As I mentioned before, these things will no doubt at some time become vitally important again to mankind. Pick up a fishing rod, 
Find your way to a river. Learn how to catch your own food. Learn how to process it. What's required? What do you need to know? Learn about the fish. Learn about the habitats. What food do they like? What type of rivers do they like? Where they likely to hang out in rivers? All this information, all this knowledge will be paramount to how we survive in generations to come. Start learning new skills. You may be a hunter, you may be a bow hunter, you may be a rifle shooter. Expand your horizons, adapt your skills, and learn a multitude of skills. Don't just rely on one form. Most of you'll know me from air gun hunting community in the UK. But what happens when I can't charge my rifle with air? What happens when I run out of pellets? Them skills will be lost. So I'm always learning. I'm always developing. And I've always tried to get involved with all different disciplines. And I've done that since I was a young kid. Whether that's shooting, trapping, snaring. And just general knowledge. Know the animals that I might have to hunt. Know the behaviour. Know the habitat. Bows, crossbows, catapults, fishing rods, trapping. Have a general skill set that's going to benefit you as we go forward in the world. The big, big game, the big deers, the big boar, the domestic cattle. They'll be left to fend for themselves, cows, sheep, pigs. But all that resource is eventually going to run out and we're going to have to rely on natural resource. Fish. Sea fish. Shellfish. Whatever it may be. Develop your skill set, develop your knowledge and let's learn and let's pass it on to our children then they can pass it on to their children. And eventually when the time does come, they'll stand a lot better chance of surviving and thriving and providing for their community or their children. We're going to have to learn to cultivate, harvest crops. Look around you when you're out shooting, when you're out fishing, taking the natural world. There's a million and one resources, whether that's growing his own food or realising and noticing what's around you. The humble, dan humble dandelion. You can make coffee out of roots. You can eat the flowers. You can eat the roots. Full of carbohydrates, full of, full of starch. But you have to learn. You have to grow. You have to watch. You have to try things. There's an answer for everything in nature. Whether that's medicinal or nutritional. Trapping. It's a way of conserving energy. Learn to make traps. Work out how traps work. Develop your knowledge. What's the best place to place them? You say expend a lot less energy making traps, setting traps than what you would going out foraging and hunting. It's all about saving calories. It's all about conserving energy. There'll be different food species that you haven't tried before. You're going to have to open up your eyes. Pheasant, rabbit, very familiar quarry to a hunter. But when you can't charge your rifle with air, when there's no lead pellets left, what are you going to do? You're going to revert back to tried and tested traditional methods. 
setting snares, setting traps, using bow and arrows, using crossbows. These are the methods that are going to keep you alive. Setting a snare for a rabbit is no dissimilar to setting a snare for a deer, for a boar, for a larger quarry. Obviously you have to adapt your tactics, set them in different places, know your quarry and know their behaviour better. It's the same principles, but sometimes on a larger scale. It won't always be about trapping and finding protein, finding meat. It'll be about adapting and realising that there's different food sources out there. You look at different critters, different animals in different ways. Amphibians, crustaceans, whatever it may be. You're going to need to adapt utilize every resource that's possible out there a big factor is fresh drinkable water whether that's for drinking for cooking for hygiene you're gonna know where to find it how to utilize it how to make it clean how to filter it how to make it hygienic Learning how to grow vegetables. Learning new skill sets like cooking. How are you going to make bread? A staple diet for so many people around the world. Learning how to make flour. What crops will produce wheat and flour. Foraging. Fungi. Fruits. Berries. You have to learn about the seasons, what's available at different times of year, what is edible, what's poisonous, what's going to give you nutritional value, what's going to be worth expending energy for. How do you store them fruits? How do you store that food? How do you grow your own food? It's all right, I think you can nip to B and Q. And buy some seeds. But them seeds aren't going to be there when you need them. How are you going to grow your own veg? How are you going to pick your own fruit? Where are these resources held? Do you know your trees? Do you know your environment? Do you know your habitat? When are nuts ready to harvest? Bushcraft skills are a big thing. Have a basic bushcraft kit. How do you start a fire without matches? Learn these skills, develop these skills. Know how you can do it, what resources you need, what type of wood you'll need. There won't be flint and steels in the future. We'll revert back to friction fires, bow drills, whatever it may be. But bushcraft skills are going to be really important. You need to know the basics. You need to be able to pass these basics on. Different forms of hunting, whether that's with a crossbow, a catapult, whatever it may be, think outside of the box and have a go at everything. Learn little bits, then little bits will stand you in good stead for times ahead. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. I'm not saying this is going to happen overnight. But learning to hunt with different equipment, learning different bits of knowledge, and just passing it on, whether it happens in a 50 years' time, 100 years' time, 2,000 years' time, no matter what it may be, prepare people in the future. Because eventually, our life cycle will go full circle. 
and we'll end up where we started many, many thousands of years ago. A spring-powered air rifle in good condition might last you a good number of years. But eventually, seals are going to go, parts are going to wear. Then what are you going to do? On a personal level, you've got a nice wooden stock. If you know what you're doing, you have the right knowledge and the right skill set, and you can turn your hand to a few things, you'll turn that rifle into a crossbow. I mentioned before, snaring. Whether that's snaring for rabbits, snaring for big game, or small game. Learn how to do it. Watch, read, research, however you may do it. All these little bits of skills and these little bit of knowledge will be worthwhile in the end. Foraging will be a big thing, you know, a big thing for his ancestors. Learn what fruits are edible. Learn what's going to give you goodness, rejuvenate you and keep you in good health. Seasons will become even more important once again. We used to live by seasons. We only used to eat produce. They're available during the right season. But we live in a world of demand. And we can get what we want when we want these days from all different continents in the world. We've all become spoiled. We've all become comfortable. There's loads of devices out there that are available to purchase. So why not start stocking up? Why not put in, start putting a few things to one side? Whether it's fishing line, fishing hooks, fishing traps, like this one in this video. It's a yo-yo trap. It's an automatic trap. You set it with a bit of bait on. It's going to do the job for you. And it's going to save you a lot of energy. And you'll be able to concentrate your time in different areas. I'm glad I've had the opportunity to speak about this. And it's more of the message is just spread the skills, spread the knowledge, pass it on to generation, generation. Don't let people tell you what we're doing is wrong. I know we'll survive when time comes and it'll be the people that have kept these traditions alive. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.